Hey, and welcome back to part two of me trying to fix this uh, Xperia, um, Sony, Sony uh, Xperia U. Um, so what I said in part one was, um, now that I can figure out why the touchscreen is not responding, uh, and by the way, you can find part one over here, up here. Uh, so the reason I thought that the part in part one is that the touchscreen is not responding is because there's something um, other than something wrong with it other than its connector um so i thought i'm gonna go ahead and heat this thing with the heat gun the uh the digitizer alone um so that um we can see if we can fix it that way uh in part one i restored the firmware on this i used a flash tool to flash the firmware on this and um it wasn't successful so what we're going to do now is we're going to detach the um we're going to detach the digitizer or the the glass uh from the LCD and we're going to heat it to all hell. If this fails, we're going to get a part 3 and in part 3 I'm going to basically buy um the part from China uh the digitizer and replace it because I did a poll on Instagram and YouTube and this was the result for the uh, what basically what should I do? Should I get the part for ten dollars? Was it ten or eleven something like that? Ten dollars or something? Should I get the part for ten dollars or should I just buy, use the money to buy another phone? And everyone, well, most of mostly everyone, uh, voted for the um, voted for the um, digitizer for me to buy the digitizer from China instead of spending the money on another phone. The Instagram poll. Um, I don't have it with me now because I forgot to like post the results, uh, but the Instagram poll was a perfect 25-25. Um, 25, uh, 25 people were like, um, buy the digitizer, the other 25 people were like, buy a different phone. <clears throat> so it was undecided on Instagram, but the YouTube one is pretty clear as you can see, as, as you saw just before. Now we're gonna go get the heat gun and we're gonna detach the, um, we're gonna detach the digitizer from the um from the frame um i'm doing this because i'm gonna heat the digitizer to a really high amount which is unsafe for the lcd um the digitizer is just a piece of glass so it can take it but the um the lcd can't but it can handle low heat like this just so that the glue gets melted so i'll do this um i'll basically fast forward this You know what? I'll do this off camera because the camera is in my face and I need to get a bit closer to this. Um, and I think it's going to take a bit longer. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift the digitizer out. Be right back. As a matter of fact, I can show you some digitizer removal action. But I did have to go in with this um, thing I bought, the scapel, basically, I used to, which I used to uh, open Apple Watches. Uh, the glue is not too strong on this, um, just basic glue. Um, I can replace the glue with uh, B, uh, B7000. I was thinking of getting uh, the the T is it T seven thousand no the so the one that I have is I think it's B seven thousand I forgot but it's not the water uh, proofed one the black tape glue or as they call it uh, meaning that the black tape one is the black glue with um, water um, resistance a bit of water resistance that stuff is um, a bit harder to find these days for some reason um, the one I have is stronger. But it's not a rubberized glue. Like there's, uh, it's a bit harder to get it off with a heat gun too. Um, but it'll work for now. Um, I'm not gonna take this phone anywhere anyway, so it doesn't really have to be a water resistant glue. Um, it just acts because this phone does not have like a seal or anything, so it just acts like a, a water seal for it. But it doesn't have to be. Um, so we'll slowly get this out. Okay, LCD um, looks fine. Didn't destroy it, but there's a bunch of uh, 
there's a bunch of stuff on the LCD that got on there. Um, we'll leave that to a side for now. And look at the star of the show here, the malfunctioning um, digitizer. Um, put this thing away so I don't get cut. Um, I need to get a new scapel. I need to get new uh, tools. My tools are all worn out. I never paid a cent for most of these tools. These all came with something that I bought from iFixit or something that I bought from eBay. Um, digitizer, let's get rid of the excess glue here. So if this thing doesn't end up working eventually um, in part three, which will be in about two months, we're going to have to get the part from China. Because like I said, the subscribers, oops, sorry about that, my camera cut out. But what I was going to say was basically, I'm going to get the, dig the digitizer because uh, you guys voted for me to replace it, if that's the case, instead of getting a different phone. Um, so that's what I'll do. But let's see if we can fix this in the first place. Now, um, we are going to melt. Well, we're not going to melt, but we're going to heat this thing quite a lot. I'm pretty sure this padding is going to go burn away as well, but that's okay. You don't really need it. I just want it to get to work. Let's heat this. We're not going to heat it to like 200 degrees, uh, but we are going to heat it considerably. I'll uh, do this. I'll fast forward this. Okay, so we'll let that cool down. Oh boy, that's really, really hot. We'll let that cool down and we'll be right back. Okay, so I put the thing back together somewhat. Let's see if that fixed it. Um, I don't know if it's that easy. Um, could have, could have like uh, fixed it, could have not. We shall see. Um, there's another method a subscriber recommended to me. It's more of a temporary fix, but it's basically electrocuting the display, the touchscreen, uh, by taking a the 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 spark part of the lighter and just clicking it on the screen. Um, that apparently fixes it. Well, it still does not work. Um, the touch is a bit. Let's just give it a minute here. Hold on. Um, nope, still does not want to work. Yeah, so I'll try this a few more times and let you know what happens. I'm not gonna do this, do it on camera again because it's basically me roast, basically heating the thing again. I'll do this a few times on camera and let you know what happens. So after about 10 attempts of uh, heating it and trying it, it will still not work. Um, the button buttons, these three buttons vibrate when touched sometimes, well, most of the time. And I was able to somewhat unlock the phone, but it still gave me a bunch of errors and stuff. So the bottom somewhat works, but the top is completely dead. So um, <clears throat> this looks like a repair for part three, where I buy the uh, digitizer from China and replace it, like everyone voted for in the poll that I showed you earlier. Um, so this is a repair for summer. Part three will be out in the summer once I get the digitizer because with COVID restrictions and stuff, it says two months, but it might be even three months. Um, it'll take a while to get here. So I will have to wait. But until then, I'm going to upload videos as usual. <clears throat> and if you want to see uh, this phone again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So you're um, so you will be updated whenever I return to this phone. It will be in about two or three months, but um, I will definitely return to this phone when the digitizer has come. But until then, stay tuned and I'll go back to my usual uploading from tomorrow onwards. Um, so yeah, thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.